Hey, how's it going out there, YouTube? Um, today, I want to show you yet another Nintendo Switch uh, mini dock. Uh, this one here uh, is not 3D printed. This is one that I actually bought off Amazon. Um, it was priced around $25. Um, a little expensive uh, for what it is, to be honest with you. Uh, but I thought I'd buy it. We'll do a quick installation. Should only take about five minutes to put this thing together and I'll give you my thoughts and um, if I think you should go out and pick one of these up. Now, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I recently, um, in the past week or so, I did a review on this guy here. Now, this one's 3D printed, um, so it's different from this one. Uh, they in no way are um, cloned of each other or anything like that. They're completely different as far as the... Um, the general idea is the same, but as you can see, they definitely are different. Um, you can see this one here, the 3D printed one is a little bit longer, and uh, this one's actually a little bit deeper. So this one sits, the, uh, the switch is gonna sit deeper inside of it, and the board's actually positioned differently. So um, that being said, let's get right into it. So if you need instructions on how to install this thing, or how to remove your old uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, the hardware out of your, your Switch dock. There is a website you can go to right here. You can scan this um, QR code or just go to the website um, and you can, um, they'll show you how to you know remove it. I'll also put a link to a previous video I did for this one where I actually take apart the actual stock dock and show you how to uh, move everything in over to this. So they're relatively gonna be the same. So anyway, this is what you get. Um, you can see it's like ABS plastic, it has like a nice you know, rich texture to it. Um, it doesn't look cheap or anything like that. It better not for $25 in my opinion. So uh, once you open it up here, you can see that we get um, two screwdrivers. One of them is gonna be the uh, tri-tip. This one is gonna be the uh, security screwdriver for the, uh, the three-way um, Phillips for Nintendo, their security screwdriver, and then just a regular Phillips. So I already gotten my stuff ready. I took it out of the old dock and I'm ready to go. So I just wanted to show you how to put it in this. It's very easy and it should only take you a few minutes. So. Um, there's seven screws here, that's it. That's all that, that's involved with this, so it, it's quite like easily. That. I'm working on a, a static mat here that kind of dissipates any static so that I can't harm this circuit board. Um, so just just be careful. You go and touch this and you have a bunch of static on you, uh, you will ruin the board. And again, it's like $40 or $80 for another stock dock. So just. Just be careful of that, that's all. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is, you can see we have our bottom here. We're gonna set that aside right now. We're actually gonna flip the top side over, and what we're gonna do is, this is gonna sit in it like this. So if you don't already have your ribbon cable put together, what you need to do is, um, if you have it in two pieces here, there's like a little lever on this thing, and you're just going to lift that up just like that and you're going to insert the, there's two sides to your ribbon cable. One side's blue and the other side, yeah, that's blue too. And the other side has the copper connections on it. You want to make sure that the blue side is facing up and you're just going to slip it inside the connector and it kind of just sits in there and you'll know it's in there because you can't pull on it. You can't pull it out of there if it's in properly. Now all you have to do is simply press down on the connector and that's it, all right? So now that we have that done, we're actually gonna take our ribbon cable with the, the USB connector on it and we're just gonna fold it underneath just like that, okay? This is how the actual con uh, the circuit board is gonna go into this plastic piece. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the USB connector right into the slot there, just like that. And then we're gonna set the other half of our, our circuit board into place and you might need to adjust this ribbon cable just a little bit just kind of have it so it's sitting up in there and that's basically how it's going to sit in there so once we have that in place we want to take our phillips screwdriver and then there's two silver screws two small silver screws you're going to use one on each side of the usb connector there and you're just going to tighten those up 
okay? They're very small screws, so just be careful. You don't lose them. Um, and definitely don't over tighten them because you don't want to strip out the uh, spot where this bolts into the, the dock there, okay? And you want to make sure that it's, it's firm. You know, you don't want this wiggling around or anything like that. Uh, but just be careful you don't over tighten and strip it out, okay? So the circuit board actually has like a little nub right next to the ribbon cable that sits through and pokes through the hole right there. So just make sure that you'll know you have it in right when you look on the sides and the circuit board is sitting in the, the you know, slits there of the, um, uh, for like the HDMI, USB, and then the two USBs on that side. And it also, there's a little tit that's gonna sit up through a hole right there. Once you have that in place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install just three screws. And we're gonna go here, here, and here, okay? There's one. There's two. And there's three, okay? So now we have our circuit board uh, mounted in there. Now all we have to do is take our cover and put it on the bottom and you can see that's not right there so we actually want to flip that around 180 degrees and put that in until it actually fits in there nice and nice and neat and it'll kind of snap into place but it's not it, it's not really snapped into place just make sure that the vents line up in the back there and all your slits are open on each side now there's just four more screws that we got to put in this thing and we're done so just one in each corner. And again, just be careful not to over tighten the screws. You don't want to strip them out. You'll feel when they get when they get tight in there. And there we go, we have our dock uh, assembled. Now, I did make sure I have a glass screen protector on this switch, and it does actually fit with the uh, glass screen protector on it. Actually makes it a little bit more snug, which is nice. And you can see this thing is fairly tight, you know, like it's, it's, um, it's pretty snug in there. So you can see that it's not going to fall out of there real easy. It's You don't have to worry about this thing falling over or anything like that. It's pretty sturdy on its base, okay? So the only thing that I can see as an issue with this is, I don't know if you can see it right there, but there's here's your intake vents back here. And as you can see, it's only about half of the vents are actually open. So just to give you an idea what it looks like with it, um, with the, the dock off of there. Actually, you can see it's covering about that much of it up. So from here to here is about covered up. So I don't think that it's an issue. I played um, some Mario Kart with this thing and it was fine. I didn't hear my switch running too hard. I didn't hear it really uh, ramping up. The fan it ramping up. It wasn't overheating, anything like that. So I think that this will be okay, but I just wanted to warn you about that. Um, it is something to consider. Um, and, and that's it. It's a nice little dock. I really like it. I think it's, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have kind of a hard time paying $25 for just a, a simple piece of plastic that probably only costs them about $2, uh, to actually make. If that, uh, we're talking a couple screws and some like 30 cent screwdrivers and, you know, probably 20 cents in plastic. Um, so you're paying a pretty high premium for just a plastic cover just like that. Uh, but, you know, if you want a Nintendo Switch dock and you don't want to try to make one out of 3D printed uh, PLA or plastic, uh, this is what you're going to be left with. Um, in my opinion, 
I like them both. Um, I, I think this one is a little thinner and it's a little bit longer. Um, they're, they're both nice. So if you don't have access to a 3D printer and um, you just want to get something that's quick and easy and dirty, this um, this will work for you. Now, this does not have the little LED in it. Um, we pulled that off of the board just to keep, you know, just so you know, this actual dock, I could have a little LED in there and it would shine through to tell me that it was charging. This one won't. I don't know how big of a deal it is. Once you put your switch in the dock anyway, it does notify you in the screen that it's actually charging. Um, and once you turn the thing on, it'll show up on your screen anyway. So I don't know that's a huge deal. Um, I'd be a little more concerned about the vents being blocked in the back. But again, I didn't see an issue with it in my time playing with this or with that dock. So again, I don't think that it's a big deal. But there you guys go. If you felt if you found this video helpful and you learned something to do new today if you could please leave a thumbs up um, and comment down below if I get a hundred people to give me a thumbs up and comment I will uh, pick someone at random actually uh, I'll probably make three of these and just send them out to three people so um, if we get some people comment and commenting uh, and giving thumbs up I'll pick three people at random and I will print them a Nintendo Switch dock and ship it out to them. So there you guys go. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them down below and I will see you in the next video.